Hi, so this is the Acer Aspire small form factor. I'm going to show you how to take out the hard drive, which is underneath the DVD-ROM here. So the first thing you have to do is take out this panel, which is the two screws in the back. And that's very easy to do. You just uh, unscrew it with a screwdriver. Um, and next thing you do is you take out the front panel. And the way to do that is there is three tabs here, three plastic tabs. And you merely lift it up. And angle this to take it out and this is merely the front panel once you have the front panel out and notice the three tabs and these tabs here what you do is to put it back you merely angle it and then you know flip it up so once you have this panel out, uh, everything becomes pretty easy. So just want to give you a look at how this panel is so you get a better idea of how it actually removes. Uh, now that it's removed, there's two screws here. One screw here and another screw here that you simply... And let me, let me show that here. One screw here, another screw here, and you merely unscrew that. So I'm merely unscrewing this. And similarly, on the other side. And this lifts up now. So you see there's a whole case here that the face of it is right along here. So this merely just removes out. Now the thing that's really jammed into it is actually the wiring itself. So that, that might be the tough stuff, but you, you just lift from the front. So notice I'm, I'm just lifting out from the front here. And it just comes out. So the, the thing stopping it is really the wiring, but, but you notice that's really it. You know, as far as taking out the hard drive, now I merely unscrew these hard drive screws and the hard drive itself just slips out. And just to show you here from the side. side here so there is these plugs that you should remove as well as the plugs in the back here so there's the plugs in the back here that you're pulling out and that's really it so now it's completely out and I can maneuver it a lot easier and replace the hard drive. So I removed the front panel so we could get a closer look at the availability of some of the SATA slots on the motherboard. So I'm going to go ahead here and zoom in and show you this one's for the DVD-ROM, this one's for the hard drive, and there is a free SATA slot here. And that SATA slot can be powered by an extra power in the power supply here. So there is room for another laptop size SSD or hard drive. And that's really the other stuff I wanted to show here. Uh, but that's really it. That's really what I want to show and I hope this helped and please subscribe and thank you for watching. So you see there's a Wi-Fi here. There's also another plug. an expansion slot here 
another expansion slot here. I'll give you this angle. And try to go through this inch by inch. And of course these memory DIMM slots support 8 gigs. 8 gigs each, so 16 gigs total. And here's the power supply. And what I have in here is an i3. Um, but I believe that's really it. It's really what I want to show and uh, I hope this helped. And uh, that's really it. So it's as easy as that and I hope this helped and uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching.